What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Masculine Energy. So, first things first, I gotta rip in my sweater. Think I fucking care? Not really. I have about four of these types of sweaters uh, kicking around. So basically, I'll probably go get another one. I like this. Uh, I like this style. It's nice and warm. Still perfect for when I'm at home and it's cold outside. I live in Canada, so it is about I think two degrees right now Celsius. If it's Fahrenheit, I don't know. Probably like, oh, thirty or something. I don't fucking know. 35. Anyway, in this video, we're going to talk about one simple thing about a breakup that you guys should know. And one simple thing really about attraction and one simple thing that you can follow and keep following until you get this right. And until you truly understand what's going on in this situation. Why is this so simple? Why is this a simple thing? Why is this not complicated? Well, in general, a breakup is not a complicated thing. Really, it isn't. It's just the loss of attraction from one party. That's all it really is. And people fail to realize that. And before I continue, hit that subscribe button down below. That was weird. So basically it's just people overcomplicate things. Human beings are the greatest species to overcomplicate anything. What does it take to be successful? Showing up every single day, helping others, and eventually you'll get what you want. Ask somebody who isn't successful how to be successful and they'll give you their version of it but you're going to hear different things and different ways to do it from, from people who aren't successful, but ask somebody who is successful, how to be successful. And they'll show you, they'll tell you what I just told you show up every day, help others, <clears throat> help others get what they want. And you'll get what you want. Simple things. And this is my favorite little quote, my favorite little quote, nothing happens unless you make it happen. These videos don't make themselves. I have to make them right? I have to edit them. I have to come up with the idea and I have to make sure that it's entertaining enough for people to stick around. This one simple trick, this one simple thing is when you get broken up with, when you get dumped, when you get left behind, I get this question, are they going to come back? How do I know they moved on? The only thing you should be paying attention to is, are they chasing you? Are they calling you? If they missed you, they would call you. If they missed you, they would message you. They will go out of their way to make sure that you know how they feel about you. How do I know this? Why is this a simple truth? Why does that matter? Well, think about, I wrote this down. Think about when you first meet somebody, when you first meet somebody and you really hit it off, you guys have so much in common. You guys are talking about some awesome shit. You're striking up an awesome conversation and you get to the point where you're like, I want to spend every waking moment with this person. I want to spend a lot of time with this person. And then, well, how do you feel in that moment? You would break rules just to see this person when you have that much attraction for them. You're going to, so let's say you're young and you live with your parents still and you're, you're, under their roof. I remember when I was 15 years old, I was dating my very first girlfriend and I was staying out past time, my time to come home. Uh, my dad, my dad had a rule, I think of 12 or 12 o'clock. Yeah. Um, cause again, I got a lot of my schoolwork done. Right. And I did, uh, I had good sort of, sort of good behaviors, but not really like, like when I was in high school, it wasn't that good. But when I, earlier before that, I was pretty good. Um, so my dad, like him and I gained this trust thing and he's like, yeah, like, you know, if you want, he let me have more responsibilities as I got older. And, um, I never really broke that trust with him or that, um, the, the, the deals that we made, so to speak anyway. And I remember it being late and I'd be at her place and I'm like, okay, I'm going to go. And She's like, no, just stay a little bit longer. And I'd stay like an hour, an extra hour. Then I had to walk home. So I'd be home at like 1.15 and I got school the next day. Just think of all those little rules and little things that you'll break. Maybe as an adult, if you're now seeing a new person and you know you got to, this is going to be a completely different thing for everybody. But there are some people who need their sleep, so to speak. Okay. And then you'll stay at this person's place until like super late at night, knowing you have to go to bed. So you'll stay up all night with them talking and feeling the relationship and just being present. And then you'll spend all this time knowing that you should be in bed, that you should be sleeping and you should be getting work done and so on and so forth. And you'll do all this. You'll, you'll, you'll break rules and you'll do all these things just so you can be around this person. And let me come up with a couple more examples. 
some people even call in sick to work just to be with the person that they are completely attracted to at the mo in the moment. So if you remember those and remember the beginning of your relationship and remember the way that that feels, when you go through a breakup, it is the opposite. Okay. When you go through the breakup, they don't want you around. And how do you think you get back to the beginning where they wanted you? You have to stay away from them. You have to let them feel the breakup. You have to let them feel the anxiety of losing you. You have to let them feel like they'll never see you again. Does that make sense? And I know it sounds hard. It is very hard to do. It is one of the hardest things you could ever do. But when you finally get there and you finally get to the point where you figure this part out, because it's usually after a few weeks that you'll get there and you're like, okay, look, I'm, you'll tell yourself, I'm done crying over this person. I'm done letting this person's emotions get through me and through to me. I'm, let, I'm done letting my friends down because my friends want to hang out with me and they, I won't hang out with them because I'm feeling like crap. You'll just be done with feeling like such a loser. And then you'll get to the point when you'll start realizing what I just told you. You're like, they're not even letting, they're not even calling me. They're not even talking to me. They're not letting me know how they feel anymore. They must be over it. You'll get to this point eventually. Some people take a long time to get there. Some people get there in weeks. Where do you find yourself on the scale if you're watching this video? Where do you think you are? When's the last time they contacted you telling you how much that they missed you? Probably not recently. And I'm sorry to say this to you because I know it hurts. But just remember, if they wanted to be around you, they would be. They would climb mountains to be around you. Now, I know there's somebody in the comments that's going to say, look, when people meet each other, uh, dopamine and serotonin and all these, all these, um, all these drugs that get released in your brain telling you that like, this is the best part of your life. And of course it's the honeymoon phase is the honeymoon stage of the, the relationship. So yes, feelings are incredibly intense in the beginning that can last if you keep the attraction high. And it's not going to be as intense as the beginning. If things will die, die down, you'll have less sex and stuff like that. You can maintain a very healthy level of attraction when they're chasing you and they're wondering and you're getting like 10 messages a day from them and you're, they're like, hey, how have you been? How, how are you doing? Blah, blah, blah. And so on and so forth. So that's the one thing I want you guys to remember. If you need to watch this video 10 times just for it to click, go ahead and do it. Just watch it at double the speed. I'm going to sound weird, but... It's going to get through to your head faster and faster. And just drill this into your head. When's the last time you heard from this person? When is the last time you heard them say, I miss you? When's the last time you heard them say, I miss talking to you. I miss being around you. And let this sink into your brain because you really need to know you were wasting a lot of time over someone who doesn't want you. Someone who doesn't want to be around you anymore. There are people out there who are dying to be with somebody like you. And I'm not trying to say this to make you feel better. I'm trying to let you know that this is a reality. There's too many people out there to date before you would actually die who, who would be perfect for you in a, in a long-term relationship. A few things I want to go over on this channel are the risks of long-term relationships and marriage and having kids and stuff like that, just because knowledge is half the battle. It's so important for you guys to understand. You're not going to know this because you're not going to feel this right away. You're going to you're going to be going through some really heavy shit because you're like this person I shared so much with them. When you you got invested and it hurt when they left. I get that. And you're reluctant to move forward and understand this understanding because you don't want to start over and you don't want to let the feelings and the memories of that person that you're with uh, fade away and change with another person right around the corner ready to date you. Do you know what I'm saying? Take the time to grieve. Let the do different things in your life. Start hitting the gym and start exercising because again, if you're not building businesses and focusing on your real pa per passion and purpose, the shit that gets you up out of bed every single day, when you aren't focusing on those things, you're only going to be able to focus on the past relationship and you're not going to be able to 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 grieve and take time uh 
sorry, you're going to you're going to only think about the relationship and you're going to 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 it's going to fester. And when you put your emotions and thoughts and 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 all that into something positive that will grow, you'll start substituting your 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 shitty thoughts for positive thoughts. When you sit around and mope and and don't let things uh, heal, so to speak, and you don't focus your energies onto something positive and you're only focusing on negative shit, it's not going to get any better for you. And it's easy to stay negative. And it's easy to say, oh, my ex is doing this, my ex is doing that, and uh, so on and so forth. But the simple truth is they're not with you right now. They're not with you. They're not chasing you. You're chasing them. They're probably not even thinking about you right now, but you're thinking about them. They left you. They left you behind. They're willing to sacrifice the relationship to feel whatever they want to feel alone or with someone else. You have to understand this simple thing. You're you're in denial if you think anything different. If they're breadcrumbing you or if they are saying things to you, that's a might that's a little bit of, of a different story, but if you haven't heard from your ex in a quite some time, it's starting it's it's time to move forward and it's time to start getting back on your feet, getting back on the horse, improving yourself so someone else in your life that's new can can start occupying your mind. But before that even comes, focus and find whatever your passion and purpose is and drill into that 150%. Because when you do, you're going to, again, replace those shitty emotions and thoughts with something positive that will grow. That won't leave you. You want to build a business? Go do it. You want to start a following that you can help like I am? Go do that. You want to become a bodybuilder? Go do it. Go do something that you've always wanted to do, but you never did. Get out of your house and create a new habit. Start making videos. Start doing a blog if you don't want to get in front of a camera. Start doing something that will help someone else and it'll feel, you'll fucking feel great about it and you can make money doing it. So go do that, guys, okay? And when you do that, when you finally start, you get to the point where you're reaching this peak and you're like, look, you know what? I don't need my ex anymore. I want you to go back to this video and go, I don't need them anymore. Comment that down below. And like the video and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. Done.